children i am ekta have you ever noticed the shapes of different road sign some have three sides while others have four or more the three side sign you see are called triangles one of the most fundamental shapes in geometry triangles are all around us from roof trusses to musical instruments in this lesson we will explore the world of triangles and learn how to classify them based on their sides and angles let's embark on this triangular adventure together In this lesson we will dive into the fascinating world of triangles and their classifications. We will learn about the different types of triangles such as equilateral, isosceles, scalene, acute, obtuse and right triangles. By the end of the lesson you will be able to identify and classify triangles based on their sides and angles. learning outcomes at the end of this lesson you will be able to identify congruent triangles using the criteria of side angle side angle side angle 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 side and side side understand why side side angle and angle 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 congruency rules are not valid recognize and describe the properties of equilateral isosceles scalene acute obtuse and right triangles apply the triangle inequality theorem to determine the relationship between the sides of a triangle keywords triangles equilateral triangle isosceles triangle scalene triangle acute triangle obtuse triangle right triangle side length angle measures classification congruent triangles in a pair of triangles if all three corresponding sides and three corresponding angles are exactly equal then the triangles are said to be congruent in the congruent triangles the corresponding parts are equal and are written as cpct corresponding part of the congruent triangle criteria for congruency learning the congruence of triangles is very important to draw conclusion from the different polygon congruency it has been used in real life such as the construction of identical buildings and so on the following are the criteria for the congruency of the triangles side angle side angle side angle 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 side 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 right angle hypotenuse side symbolically it is expressed as triangle abc congruent to triangle xyz side 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 criteria for congruency if the three sides of one triangle are equal to the three sides of another triangle then the two triangles are congruent
if all sides are exactly the same then their corresponding angles must also be exactly the same side angle side criteria for congruency axiom two triangles are congruent if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to the corresponding sides and the included angle of the other triangle angle angle side criteria for congruency two triangles are said to be congruent to each other if two angles and one side of one triangle are equal to two angles and one side of the other triangle why are side side angle and angle 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 congruency rules not valid side side angle test is not a valid test for congruency as the angle is not included between the pairs of equal sides the angle 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 test also is not a valid test as even though two triangles can have all three same angles the sides can be of differing lengths this become a test for similarity angle angle right angle hypotenuse side criteria for congruency if in two right triangles the hypotenuse and one side of one triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and one side of the other triangle then the two triangles are congruent rhs stand for right angle hypotenuse side equilateral triangle all sides are equal in length all angles are equal and measure 60 degrees it is symmetrical and has three lines of symmetry the perpendicular bisector angle bisector and medians are congruent isosceles triangle it has two sides that are equal in length the angles opposite the equal sides are equal the angle opposite the unequal side is called the base angle the perpendicular bisector of the base is also the angle bisector scalene triangle all sides have different length all angles have different measures it may or may not have a right angle there are no lines of symmetry acute triangle all angles are acute meaning they are less than 90 degrees the sum of the angle is 180 degrees all sides are shorter than the hypotenuse of right triangle with the same side length obtuse triangle it has one obtuse angle which is greater than 90 degrees the sum of the angle is 180 degrees 
one side is longer than the hypotenuse of a right triangle with the same side length. Right triangle. It has one right angle which measures 90 degrees. The sum of the other two angle is 90 degrees. It follows the Pythagorean theorem where the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. AB square is equal to AC square plus BC square. Triangle inequality. The triangle inequality theorem is one of the important mathematical principle that is used across various branches of mathematics. In real life, civil engineers use their triangle inequality theorem since their area of work deals with surveying, transportation and urban planning. The triangle inequality theorem help them to calculate the unknown length and have a rough estimate of various dimension. In this session, let us learn about the triangle inequality theorem and its proof using solved examples. What is triangle inequality? The triangle inequality theorem says that in any triangle, the sum of any two sides must be greater than the third side. For example, consider the following triangle ABC. According to the triangle inequality theorem, AB plus BC must be greater than AC. AB plus AC must be greater than BC. BC plus AC must be greater than AB. Triangle inequality proof. Let us now discuss the triangle inequality proof. Consider the following triangle ABC. We need to prove that AB plus AC greater than BC. Proof extend BA to point D such that AD is equal to AC and join C to D as shown below. We know that Angle ACD is equal to angle D which means that in triangle BCD, angle BCD greater than angle D. Sides opposite larger angles are larger and thus BD greater than BC. AB plus AD greater than BC. AB plus AC greater than BC because AD is equal to AC. This completes our proof. We can additionally conclude that in a triangle, since the sum of any two sides is greater than the third, then the difference of any two sides will be less than the third. The sum of any two sides must be greater than the third side. The side opposite to a larger angle is the longest side in the triangle. Points to remember. Congruent triangles have corresponding sides and angles that are equal CPCT. The criteria for congruency include side angle side, angle side angle, angle angle side and side side side. Equilateral triangles have equal sides and angles of 60 degrees. The triangle inequality theorem states that the sum of any two sides of triangle must be greater than the third side. Side side angle and 
angle 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 are not valid congruency rules. Right triangles have one right angle of 90 degrees.